In this video, I'm going to show you the process I follow to update the Sonic Pad when a new version comes out. You may have recently switched on your Sonic Pad and been greeted with a message saying that a new update is available. Many are hesitant to update what could be a perfectly functioning device, as let's face it, if things go wrong, you can't use your 3D printer anymore. Fear not though, I'm going to show you how you can save your carefully tuned configuration and how you can see exactly what the update is trying to change with your configuration. The very first thing to do is to cancel that notification by hitting next time. This is because before we update, we need to back up a couple of things. If you didn't find this video in time and you've already hit download and your Sonic Pad has updated, don't worry, all is not lost. As you're about to see, I make a huge jump in firmware in this video and there are very minor changes that you need to worry about and I'll show you later in the video what I advise you do after updating. Once you've delayed the download of the new update, the next thing to do is to connect to your Sonic Pad through a web browser. If you've not done this yet, I have a full video guide showing you how to do this in my Sonic Pad Basics series, which will be linked in the description below. Once you are in the web UI, navigate to the configuration tab on the left, where you'll find all of your printer's configuration files. You may have more or less of these than me, depending on your machine and how much you've already set up. Download each and every one of these and save them to a safe place. The most important file here is your printer.cfg file. I save these quite regularly, and when I do, I edit the file name to include today's date. Bear in mind that if you ever want to upload one of these backup files to the Sonic Pad, you'll need to edit the file name back to just printer.cfg. Now that we have all of our configuration files backed up, we can go back to the Sonic Pad. Navigate to Configure and Other Settings and scroll down to find System Upgrade and click on it. You'll see the update screen again and you can now select to download. The Sonic Pad will then download and install the new update, which for me took around eight minutes, but depending on your internet connection, it could take more or less time. Once it's done though, the Sonic Pad will reboot and you'll be back on the main screen, assuming all has gone well. I haven't seen it myself, but if for any reason your Sonic Pad has completely forgotten your printer or there is any other reason why you need to start again, don't forget that you backed up all of your configuration files. After selecting the correct printer, skip your way through all of the setup screens and then connect with a web browser and replace all of the configuration files with the ones that we saved earlier. Again, remember to get that printer.cfg file name right. Assuming your install has gone as it should though, how do you know if you need to use those backed up files? It's actually pretty easy and I'll show you how to do it. Navigate back to your config files and download your new printer.cfg file, but remember, don't give it the same name as the one that you backed up earlier. Now, if you don't have it installed already, download and install Notepad++ on your Windows PC or laptop. If you have a Mac, then there are alternatives available, but you'll probably have to do a little bit of Googling to find one that allows you to compare two text files as I'm about to do. I don't have a Mac, so I can't test this out. With Notepad++, select the Plugins tab at the top and then select Plugins Admin and scroll down in the next window to find the Compare plugin. Tick the box and then Install. Follow the on-screen prompts and then once everything's installed, open your new and backed up config files. Go back to the plugin menu and you should have a new compare option where you can then click compare or simply use the shortcut Control alt and c notepad plus plus will now compare the two text files and show you what the differences are between them here i have the new file on the left and my backup file on the right the red highlighted lines show the lines in the new file that are missing from the backup i have a new section for idle timeout a gear ratio line in the extruder section and an exclude object heading other than that there are no changes. I can therefore see that the new update hasn't changed any of the important information from my previous config file. All it's done is added a couple of lines for some new features. If you find that there are any changes in the important printer specific information, like anything in the stepper sections that isn't something additional like I have, then you may want to investigate further before trying to use your printer. Incorrect heater or stepper information can cause damage to your machine and in the most extreme cases could cause a fire. If you find a lot of big differences between these two files, then rather than just copying information across or even uploading your backup file, I'd advise actually setting up a brand new machine. You can then run through all of the setup information again just to make sure that everything's safe. This is all very unlikely though and you'll probably just have a couple of additions like me. Once you're happy that there are no major changes to your config file, then I'd advise at the very least that you set a new Z offset and create a new bed mesh. There were no changes to the bed mesh in my config file, but I know from reading the notes that there were some changes to the way that the bed mesh was calculated, so it doesn't hurt to be safe. Once you're done, print a simple test print or something that you've printed before and keep an eye out for any defects. 
you shouldn't need to recalibrate things like rotational distances, PID tunes, input shaper or pressure advance, but you should be on the lookout for any symptoms. Hopefully now you should have a much better idea of how to back up your information before an update, how to complete the update and what to do if too much has changed. Click over here to see another video from my Sonic Pad series and don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.